Chocolate Tea Squad. It's your girl Keisha. And I'm here with tonight's All Tea All Shade Married to Medicine Season 6 Episode 7 Review. For any of you who were looking for last night's episode of Spill the Tea, I took it down because it was very choppy. It just wasn't a good episode um, as far as the video quality wise, so I took it down. And plus, you know, I went on my rant yesterday and I didn't want to get that help for that type of attention or notoriety. So I just took it down or whatever. A new episode to be up this weekend. Okay, so, Contessa has a successful surgery. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Um, heavily returns from Miami. Damon in the house making beats, and I really don't understand why he's damn near 50 and still making beats. Like, is this just a hobby, or are you trying to be Manny Fresh? I don't get it, sir. I need for you to stop it. She mad because he ain't welcome her home right Damon say, you know, tell me about the trip. <laughs> Emily say, you know, we had a real good time. You know, we had a real good trip. I just know, you. Yeah, I got nervous when I touched my sister dough. And Damon say, you know, well, maybe, you know, you never really dealt with how you feel. It seems to me like if you had to deal with it, then you would you would have went through all the sadness. And then, you know, that, you know, you would have been okay. <laughs> he say, you know, all the negative memories I have, I forgot about them. And Damon say, you got a lot of out of the trip, though. I'm proud of you, buddy. I'm really proud of you. You know, I'm proud that you went. You know, you're very nice, buddy. <laughs> I'm like, what? Both you niggas are slow. So, Contessa returns home. She is in a lot of pain. Her badass kids climbing all over her. She a better mama than me because I would have pushed them little motherfuckers off their bed. I wouldn't give a fuck about the Bravo cameras being there. I would have knocked the shit off them with badass kids. You see, I just got home from the hospital. I know y'all don't know no better, but move. So, Jackie and Big Country are looking for a new um, home. This is their dream home. Their old house holds too many bad memories. I don't blame you. She didn't want to be in that motherfucker nowhere. Remember, she wanted to be in a condo or something downtown. Jackie trying to get her life child. So, Toya's kids don't want to leave their school. And I can relate to that because, you know, I moved when my son was in the fourth grade. And it was hard, you know, separating him from his friends and him starting all over again. And that's a big thing that really does affect kids. Because it affected Kyrie's having to move and start all over and meet new friends and everything. And being a new person in class so that's something they really need to trip off of and she said their kids have moved like four times in like the last few years so that's a lot so simone and her family eat and take out again i swear i ain't never seen simone cook shit like can simone cook so her oldest son miles come home from college for the summer they're all going to stay at the north house together simone still giving pushback she don't want them niggas around her she's just talking about uh being without them and you know how it was enjoyable for her and how the house stayed clean when they weren't around and Cecil said something about it like why you keep on bringing it up like we supposed to be working this shit out as a family she bring it up like you know I can't believe you trying to bring it up to me when you know when you was at the north house or whatever you was kicking it going out every night all on Instagram posting pictures and he was like you was doing the same thing too and Michael was like yeah mama you was he was in Atlanta kicking it. you was all over kicking it and Michael had to check both of them like y'all both arguing for nothing y'all both sound stupid because y'all both was doing the same damn thing and they look damn retarded that they damn kid had to put them in their damn place so go ahead on Michael for getting them together so Mariah and some new lady named Dr. Garrett comes by to visit Contessa. Dr. Garrett is a dentist and is very pretty. I love her brown natural, I mean her blonde natural hair. Contessa didn't tell the ladies about the surgery to afterwards because she didn't want them to worry. She had all her breast tissue removed and implants put in. Dr. Garrett, we find out, just moved into a new home and wants to have a housewarming party. So basically her role on the show is a friend of the cast. They're filling her out to see how she will work amongst the ladies. Um, so this is what they do. They test, you know, friends out to see if they can be a part of the cast. So hopefully Dr. Gary can bring something to the, to the group. So far she ain't really did nothing. She got to get in there and mix it up. So Quad and her mom and aunt go out and her mama is a cute little lady and her aunt look like Phaedra. <laughs> so the auntie look like she could be Phaedra mama child. They look like they from the South. So mama had her sister curls and everything, girl. I was like, ooh, child. They look like they from, like, Tuscaloosa or some shit. So, Quiet reveals that she did file for divorce and that she found her a new home. She and Gregory text, but she doesn't want to physically talk. 
and she hopes that you know when she sees the girls again that they're coming from a supportive place so she can feel comfortable talking to them i'm gonna tell y'all see right through quiet of her bullshit she you she trying to film with any and everybody she can film with and not them damn girls and toya called her out on this shit later on in the damn episode we are six seasons into this show and if i'm not mistaken this is the first damn time we have ever seen quad mama auntie or anybody we were introduced to her brother but we ain't never seen her mama on this damn show that girl trying to film with anybody that she can outside of those ladies because she don't want them ladies to ask her the hard questions that she don't want to answer and the reason why she don't want to answer is because she's trying to go into stealth mode and make these moves to divorce that nigga and not have none of them call her out on the bullshit of bitch you never wanted to be with him in the first place that you taking the you know the easy quick way out you want the divorce you never really tried to work on this shit to try to work it out with him because you didn't want him from the beginning and she don't want none of them women to baby call her out on her bullshit so she filming with motherfuckers that she can know that she can feel comfortable with that ain't gonna ask her the hard damn questions so bye for quad so dr garrett house is really pretty i love the black and white details she looked really pretty at her party all the ladies arrives we find out her husband is a doctor as well. Simone got her legs out, baby. She thinks she's sexy. And she looked like a whole cold special. She looked like she got that top from a sales rack at Kohl's. The fact that she thought that outfit was sexy and the fact that they hyped her up to make her think that she looked sexy. Y'all got to stop lying to Simone. Simone, you look like a pink and black ladybug. That outfit was not attractive. It was not cute. That top was horrendous. Simone just need a makeover. Somebody need to get a hold of her, do her hair, beat her face good, and just make her look sexy. Cause what she considers sexy look like some shit that you get from Walmart in the women's department. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, God. So Jackie, however, come in looked looking gorgeous. That Jackie old like look that she had on, phenomenal. Loved it. Quad arrives. Toya said, you know, this is the second time we've seen you in about two months. And that's because she ain't been filming with them. She's been filming, like I said, with anybody else that she could film with outside of them. Quad look at her and say, Toya, relax. And Toya like, what, bitch? Like, damn, like, what the fuck? And I mean, once again, it's because she called her out on her bullshit. So she pretty much dismisses Toya. Mariah gets up and goes over to Simone. And Simone whispers to her and says, you know, that's a pretty condescending thing to say to somebody who says that they're happy to see you. You say relax. And Mariah like, girl, yeah, I don't see what you're talking about. So Toya say to Jack, you know, it's so fucking uncomfortable. Like everybody with these fake ass smiles. Like, but okay, whatever. So Heavenly arrives and speaks to everyone but Mariah. Mariah don't speak back to her or whatever. So Heavenly asks, contest how, asks how Contessa is doing. Mariah tells her that she looks good. She's doing better. And Toya say, you know, I saw her text message about her surgery. Friends, they let you know ahead of time. And Jackie and her confessional say, you look, you even got that. Like, y'all ain't even on speaking terms. And with that, I agree. Like, bitch, what do you expect from her? You've been rude as fuck to this girl this whole entire season thus far you embarrassed her in front of a group of people y'all not cool enough to her to be trying to call you and give you the tea on her goddamn business about her surgery when you were not even empathetic to the fact that her father was sick and she was trying to spend time with them so why would she think that you would give a damn about her even trying to have a you know a goddamn surgery you probably would have blew that shit off too and act like it was nothing so no she don't owe you nothing to tell your ass toy get out of here so heavenly say you know so she need a text about everything you gotta tell toy everything going in your life girl bye so heavenly and simone go outside with the men and heavenly tell cecil you know i told simone the first thing men need is honor and respect cecil say like, i don't think that's the first thing um do i think that men need honor and respect first from a mate or a wife agree with her i mean in any relationship male or female you have to honor that person and respect them and you know trust them i i, I agree with her. i think i agree with heavenly on that not just from a male perspective but just from a male and female perspective in as far as relationship if you don't honor or respect that motherfucker then what the fuck do you have um so uh simone just grinning like that's right baby have my back this bitch don't know what the fuck she's talking about so heavenly say you know the second thing is sex ain't that right daddy and Damon say, you know, well, I'm not an expert. I I, I don't know what to say, buddy. <laughs> so Cecil say, you know, I don't normally follow Heavenly's advice, but she's right uh, on point with this sex part. Uh, Toya come outside and pretend to sit on Big Country lap. He jump up like, bitch, you ain't about to set me up this time. I learned my lesson from last season. 
Quad talks to Jackie again because she know Jackie won't really challenge her on her bullshit. And Quad says, you know, I feel like you and Simone have something to work with. Jackie say, you know, have you prayed about it? And Quad say, I often feel alone. And like I said, once again, Quad only giving them a little bit to go on. Because like I said, she know the bullshit she on secretly behind the damn scenes and what she's doing. She just keep on giving them little, little pieces of bread to nibble on and not giving them the whole truth. And you see she only has had one-on-one -on -one conversations with Jackie and nobody else. So, um... All the ladies come outside. Aiden asks where Gregory's at and Quad is annoyed. Mariah like, Aiden. Aiden, shut up. Don't ask her that. Aiden like, what the fuck? I do. I'm just asking what the nigga at. Like, what the fuck? So Toya say, you know, I understand why you ask, but she does have her ring on. That's a good thing, right? And Quad looking at her like, bitch, my like, girl, what? And I'm like, girl, why you keep on side out this hoe? Like, she trying to have your back. Like, I just don't like Quad. I don't like Quad. Quad is full of shit. I don't like her. I don't like her. So the men leave. Jackie say, you know, so Toya, how do we connect as a girlfriend group? Toya starts talking and Quad says, are you talking to me? Because she turned to her and was like, you know, I feel da 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 Quad says, you know, we've all grown and have careers. And Mariah jumps in and says, we all have problems, some bigger than others. <laughs> so Quad said, you know, I was trying to deal with a lot of things on my own. I'm the rock in my family. Mariah falls out like, oh, here this bitch go again, making excuses. And <laughs> Mariah said, all of us are the rocks in our family. I think you're missing the point. And Mariah was jumping over her and what she had to say, which was very rude because she was trying to talk. But once again, I understand where Mariah's anger comes in because Quad is beating around a bush, coming up with all these excuses of why she don't tell everybody nothing. But you can easily tell the sister circle bitches shit. You can tell your mama and them shit, but you can't tell these women who have been your friends for years anything. Okay, because she don't want to be, like I said, called to the motherfucking carpet. Um... So, Quad said, you know what? All right, I'm done. And Mariah and her confessional say, this is a great opportunity for her to bond with other women because we've all been through what she's going through. Quad starts screaming and then tell Mariah she yelling and she need to calm down. I'm like, bitch, she was just yelling too. Like, y'all the same bitch. That's why y'all don't like each other. Quad said, you know, they're trying to hear from me. I could just be quiet since you want to talk over me. Mariah said, you waiting on an excuse. I wish you would. Quad said, you just trying to be heard. Mariah said, you think I'm trying to be her heavily? Because we don't never agree. What you think, Heavenly? And Heavenly said, you know, I have valid points. You have valid points, but I think she was just trying to, you know, finish what she had to say. And then her confessional, Heavenly said, you know, if Mariah wasn't her, I wouldn't have, I would have learned a lesson. So I wouldn't have learned a lesson. So I think she's been a blessing that she's a low down, dirty, <laughs> low down, dirty bitch. And I was like, girl, y'all just need to fight. You and Mariah just need to box, bitch. So Heavenly said, you know, the trip to Miami made me, me and some old close. I understand her more. And they all get up to leave. And child, it was the end of the episode. I give tonight's episode of Married to Medicine. A C plus. It was cool. It really wasn't nothing exciting. More of the same shit. Quad beating around the bush. Mariah being the only one that calls her out on the carpet and on her bullshit to her face while the other ladies sit back and mm -mm, and side out her behind her back. Can't wait to see next week episode when Toya have enough of Quad and her bullshit. Let's talk down below. What do you all think about Quad and this whole situation? What do y'all think about Dr. Garrett? Uh, that's pretty much everything that happened in this episode. It was pretty much another filler episode i need for the drama to kick back up uh make sure you uh watch episode two and three of single moms meet i uh uploaded episode three early as a treat for you guys episode four will be up wednesday at its regular time 5 p.m central time thank you for all of you who have watched please watch it please support so i can do more things like this on my channel please share it with your family and friends i need that viewership up you guys please like it like I said, share it as much as you can. And thank you for any and everyone who has watched and left comments. I read everything. So thank you so very much. Um, and just for supporting my channel and supporting me. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you all tomorrow for my Love and Hip Hop Hollywood review. Have a great night. Bye.